thirteen point three, we're going to talk about what is rust indicator, and we're going to discuss how we're going to prevent corrosion. So first of all, for rust indicator, you can refer to page eight to nine. As we have mentioned in previous video, rusting is a very slow process. It may take days or even weeks, okay, in order to see the rust. Rust, okay, remind yourselves, okay, that is hydrated iron three oxide. So that is a very complex and slow process. So therefore, it takes time for hydrated iron three oxides to be produced. So how can we observe rusting okay, in a faster manner? So we can apply rust indicator. This can allow them okay. We can allow us to observe rusting within a few minutes. So what do we have in rust indicator? Actually, it is a mixture of chemicals. First of all, they will have potassium hexacyanoferrate. So hexacyanoferrate three. Okay. So um, this one okay, this chemical is sensitive to Fe two plus. Original color that one okay, it will be light green in color, yellowish green. And then uh, if you have Fe two plus produced, then it will turn into blue in color. Okay, so uh, it is only sensitive to Fe2+. And why Fe2+, if you remember the chemistry of rusting, the very first process is the iron losing the electron to form Fe2+. So this one, okay, it takes many, many steps in order to form hydrated iron 3 oxide, but this will be the very first step. So you can see that, okay, we can observe rusting within a few minutes. So the Fe, when they lose the electron, become Fe2+, plus, it will then combine with potassium hexacyanoferrate 3, and then they will change from green color to blue. So when it have blue color, that means that it have Fe2+, plus produced. That means going to have rust occurred very soon. Next, okay, we're going to have uh, phenophalin, phenophalin okay so that one or sometimes people will say phenophalin okay the stress will be put in different places so this one okay, is an acid alkaline indicator it is sensitive to hydroxide ion and remember after this electron giving up from the fd the electron will be gained by the water and oxygen and then they will form hydroxide ion. So, uh, if you if in the process, okay, they have Fe two plus produced, and the water and oxygen they combine to form hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion will then react with the phenolphthalein, and then they will turn into pink color. Original color of phenolphthalein at that status, okay, that will be colorless, okay. Then they will see some pink color. So this one is due to the presence of OH minus, while this one it will be due to the presence of Fe2+. Okay, so our uh, last things, okay, you also have some sodium chloride in it, okay, so normally it will just like speed up the rusting process. Okay, so uh, why would be like the head and the tube, okay, to have Fe2 plus first, while the other part, okay, it will be the hydroxide ion. So you can consider things like this way. So if I have a iron nail, Okay, if you remember some factors spinning up the rusting is if we have a sharp bent area, they will have easier for the iron to lose the electrons and become Fe2 plus first. So you can find that this area 2n. The Fe atom okay will easily lose the electrons. So once they lose the electrons, the electron will move to the other side. So once they get it right there, then the electrons here can then react with the oxygen and water, and in this area they will then form hydroxide ion. So you will find that Fe two plus here, okay, and then you find hydroxide in the middle. So therefore you will find blue color at both end, the head and also the tube, while in the middle part, okay, you will have the hydroxide ion, okay? So that one, okay, is called rust indicator. So um, how are we going to prevent the rusting? So uh, we have many different methods, okay, well, uh, this video we just talked about part one, okay, some of the method is a physical barrier. So we can coat the article with paint, plastic, oil, or grease. So you can find it from page 10 to 11. Actually, the mechanism is just prevent the iron, prevent the iron from contacting air and water. Remember, air, that means oxygen and water, those are the essential elements, okay, for the rusting to occur. So if you just apply a layer on top of it, 
just like FE and then on top of it we have some paint plus eh, or things like that okay just exclude the air the oxygen and also the water touching it then okay the rusting can be prevents okay so you can see that okay the paint okay we can apply okay this golden bridge okay so you can apply paint on top of it we can apply the paint on the car as well so the advantage of this one you have to remember what is the advantage of that the advantage of that is it is cheap okay so imagine okay it is impossible for us to coat the whole bridge okay with the plastic okay but applying paint will be easier okay but the disadvantage is this paint will easily scratch off that means that you have to repart reapply it very soon okay it will easily scratch off okay so uh that will be for paint and for the plastic okay you can find that okay we can use it in some coat hanger coat hanger and also you can see it in some paper clip okay the advantage of this one okay with more color on it okay so the advantage okay it will last longer comparing to the paint it will be uh, less easy to scratch off and also it looks good as well okay we we'll have a good appearance okay however you know that okay if you use plastic okay, to put around the plastic metals okay the disadvantage of course it will be very costly okay more expensive than paint okay that will be a little bit more costly okay and then third things that we can apply okay we can apply oil or grease okay mainly for this one okay we apply that on the moving parts of machines like the gear like the gear like the chain and also we would like put it on some woodwork tools like the saw or things like that okay so the advantage is okay or uh, comparing to the paint and plastic you can imagine we can't put plastic right there we can't put paint on that okay because okay those paint and plastic will easily fall off okay so this one okay when we apply oil it does not fall off easily fall off easily and also we have a lubricating effect lubricating effect to make the whole gear smooth okay to do that okay but of course the disadvantage you know that after you apply the grease it will may go very fast okay so therefore it is not a once for all once and for all process that means you have to reapply many many times at the same time if you have grease or oil on it okay the dirt may also stick on it okay so we'll make the things dirty okay so these are the disadvantage okay okay um other than that okay we can also put some or uh, metals or okay, coat some metals on tops of the articles okay so this mechanism actually is the same as before we put metals on it is to prevent the iron from contacting the oxygen and water in the atmosphere so we have three examples the first one is called galvanizing okay the process is called galvanizing okay we can call the uh, uh, metal itself okay a galvanized iron and the process okay we call that Galvanization. Okay, so uh, galvanizing is a technique. Okay, so the iron itself is called galvanized iron. So you can find that. Okay, we can use it at the bucket or some construction area. So uh, when I have the iron in it, okay, galvanizing means that we are going to plate it with zinc. So we will have zinc on top of it. So the advantage of using galvanizing a uh, galvanized iron is that okay even scratched the sink can still protect iron from rusting why can be doing like that okay uh i will discuss this one later in the second part of the videos okay but you have to remember even the surface got stretched the oxygen and water can touch the iron inside the iron still prevent from rusting 
Okay. However, there is some disadvantage of that. Okay, because you have to know that zinc iron is toxic, or you can say poisonous. So therefore, actually, it is not okay to use it or uh, to plate on some article that we're going to store food. For example, food can. Okay. So uh, saying it's not okay. Okay, in this area, then we have to find another method. So we will use tin plating instead. Okay. So tin plating. Okay, the advantage of that one is tin. Okay, or the symbol is S or tin iron is non-poisonous so therefore we can use this one okay in a food can okay so we can use in food can also you'll find that C tin is corrosion resistant so therefore it can prevent rusting very effectively however you'll find uh, but one thing so okay, the drawback is this one is different from galvanized iron. That means that, okay, even if it's scratch, okay, the sink, okay, in galvanized iron can protect iron from rusting. However, if this one scratch, if this coating got damaged, the iron inside will expose to the atmosphere. And then in this case, okay, iron will then rust even faster than iron alone. Okay, in if the coating is damaged, iron will rust even faster. So this one is easy for you to understand. Okay, remember one of the factors that can speed up rusting is when iron attaches to less reactive metal. So actually, Sn is less reactive than Fe. So you can imagine. Okay, so if I have like uh, the iron article, it's like this, uh, Fe, this is Sn. If I, if I have scratch right there, okay, and then the oxygen can get it here, the water can get it here. So the iron at this moment actually is in contact of a less reactive metal, okay, less reactive metal. So in this case, actually, iron will then lose the electron much faster than itself alone okay so this one is a disadvantage of tin plating and this is also a reason telling you why okay when a food can okay you see that it dented okay it changed its shapes okay then if scratches on the surface then better not to buy that food can because if the surface is scratched okay the iron will rust even faster okay so that one is different from the governized plating and the last one okay to coat the metal with a or uh, with some metal on the surface that is electroplating okay electroplating means that we're going to coat a metal on the surface of the iron objects so this one okay the advantage obviously you see that okay uh the water tape water tap okay you have the saxophone okay you have the car bumpers, okay? All these things, they look very shiny, okay? The advantage is having a beautiful, shiny appearance. Okay, this is the advantage of that. Okay, the disadvantage, of course, when you coat with another metal on it, okay, it will be quite expensive. Okay, so the mechanism for electro plating is the same as previous one. Okay, it just prevents the iron inside from contacting the oxygen and water. Okay, so uh, in conclusion, okay, you have to remember rusting is a slow process. So if we use rust indicator, we can allow us to observe rust indicator, allow us to observe rusting quickly. And rust indicator is a mixture of chemicals. The first one is potassium hexacyanophorate 3. This one okay, is very sens sensitive to Fe2+, which will be released in the first process during Fe release electrons behind Fe2+. And in the process, they will become blue in color. Okay, while we are this rust indicator, they also have phenolphthalein that will be sensitive to hydroxide iron. If hydroxide iron is produced, the phenolphthalein they will turn into pink in color. 
They also got sodium chloride in the rust indicator as well. So the way to prevent corrosion, part one, okay, we have to talk about coating with paint, plastic, oil, or grease, okay. So paint advantage is cheap, okay. Plastic, it looks good, okay. Oil and grease, okay, they can uh, lubricate, have a lubricating effect, and they will not easily fall off, not easily fall off like the other two okay however they also have some disadvantage of that the mechanism behind is to can't prevent iron from contacting air and water and we also applied okay we can also coach the iron with another metal so we have like EHO plating tin plating and galvanizing remember tin plating is for the food can because tin and tin iron itself uh, they are non poisonous Galvanizing cannot use it in a food can because zinc iron is toxic. Zinc iron toxic. Okay. Uh, however, the advantage of having galvanizing, okay, is even scratch galvanizing, okay, galvanized iron, uh, zinc can still protect iron from rusting. However, if you have scratch it in tin plating, you'll find that it will, or uh, the iron itself, it will rust even faster because tin is less reactive than iron. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. Bye-bye.